Uh, hello there, I'm Alistair Aitchison, I'm here at SQL Bits 8 and I'm presenting a session this afternoon on uh, spatial data uh, and I'm just going to show a little bit about uh, how to do root finding algorithms in, uh, in SQL Server. Okay. So um, what I've got to start with, I've got a data set of all the roads in the UK. Um, I've actually chopped this down a little bit so I'm just looking at uh, primary routes and secondary routes, so A roads and B roads basically. And if I just go to the spatial results tab and show you the first 5,000 of those rows, uh, here are, they look a little bit like this. Um, in fact, it's probably a bit hard to see on the screen, a bit so of, you know, what I shall do, because these are just line strings, and what I can do is buffer them a little bit, so if I buffer them by 1,000, that will give me a one kilometre wide uh, buffer zone around each road. I hope you'll actually be able to see that on the screen. Uh, so this will be the first uh, 5,000 rows from my table of rows. Uh, SQL Server Management Studio currently has a, a restriction that only lets you visualise a certain amount of objects at once. So here we are. Here's the roads in uh, in Scotland. You can okay. see here. That looks fine. Okay. Familiar. And now, um, if you wanted to, let's say you wanted to plot a route from uh, uh, Lands End to John O'Groats, let's say you could do it in uh, in T-SQL. Um, and if you did, it would be a query that looks a little bit like this. So this is a recursive CTE. Um, I'm declaring my start point and my end point, these are just geometry points and then what I do is I'm starting off by in the anchor member of the CTE I'm just choosing all those line strings that begin at land's end and then in the recursive member I'm going back through that roads table selecting all the lines that begin where the last line string ended basically and just looking through the entire table until by chance I get to John O'Groats. Now, if I was to run that, uh, I'd probably use up all the tape in this video camera because this is just a blind search. So a better way to do that would be to use a SQL CLR procedure, uh, which I just happen to have here. So um, this is a couple of hundred lines, probably, uh, SQL CLR procedure, and this does something called the A-star algorithm. And what that is, it's kind of an intelligent search through the nodes in the table. So rather than just blindly expanding outwards, what it's going to do is pick those nodes which it believes are more likely to lie on the route from Land's End to John O'Groats. Um, where can someone get that A-star route procedure if you from? Search, if you search using your uh, a popular internet search provider for A-star, you'll find lots of implementations in a variety of languages, okay. uh, including uh, C-sharp and VB, so it's pretty easy to get straight into SQL Server. Um, and then hopefully it won't take too long. So... I'm just executing that. So this is scanning through that table of rate, and I've got a result. If I now look at that result, here we have. Uh, so it doesn't look particularly impressive, but this is down here, Land's End. Uh, I'm taking whatever road that is, the M something or other up, through Scotland, and that's John O'Groats um, up there. I can probably put that in context for you as well. Um, let's just do Union All Select uh, from... Oh, I've got to remember the database name now. Uh, coast polyline. Let's just try that. So basically, when you want to visualise more than two objects at once, oops, sorry, we need to hold, run the whole lot. Um, you need to do a union all query rather than a union query. Um, spatial data types are not comparable. So. Um, you, you, so you can't use union. Yeah, yeah sure. you can't use union. So what I've done there, I've just done a union all to a table that has. Um, uh, just the outline of the country as a polyline. Oh, here we go. That's better. So here we've got we a go map right of the UK. Can you, uh, can you get that here? And I've got up at the top of Scotland. Here's my route at uh, John O'Groats coming down through the country and ending up down there at Land's End. Check so, it out. It's management studio. All in management studio, yeah. Good stuff. Thank you, Alistair. Thank you. Cheers.